So it seems that in 2017, the threat of bullying is still real. And I have a feeling that a memory palace and using memory techniques might help you eliminate bullying from your life forever if you happen to suffer it. That's coming right up. So I got a really interesting email from someone who is going through, you know, some growing pains with memory techniques and really just wants to get better at them and think about how to get faster and just has had some success in the past. 30% actually recall is what he said better than 0% from a certain period before that and I couldn't help but think, wow, 30% increase. Amazing. But in this particular case there was a comment from someone and he allowed that comment to get him down and you know I don't know if that was a bullying situation or not but it made me think about bullying and a couple of things you could do if you are in a bullying situation because really at the end of the day it is kind of a bullying situation the guy had a 30% increase in memory ability right as he defined it himself 30% increase that any act of not acknowledging that, not saying, wow, that is amazing, I deserve all the uh, accolades and uh, pre presents, that, you know, like buy yourself a nice book, take yourself out for coffee or whatever, some sort of memory friendly uh, chocolate beverage, you know, there's a lot of options that you could have. Anything that isn't a total and 100% acknowledgement of how awesome that is as an achievement, is a kind of self-bullying when you think about it because you've done something so incredible and so amazing and then when someone says to you as is the case in this story anything that discourages you anything that somehow belittles you or makes you feel less than yourself you have to understand that you took action you did something and probably a lot of what the flack is from that person is maybe their sense, their feeling that they're doing nothing and you're doing something. Now, I don't know if they're consciously feeling that or unconsciously feeling it, but people will notice when you are improving yourself, they'll notice the improvement, they'll just feel it because there's just something about the superiority of some people that is felt by others. And taking action is the most superior thing you can do. And so, that is going to encourage kickback from the world. The world will try to break you down. I know this, I'm an internet person. I have so much feedback from people. Thankfully, the vast majority of it is positive, but if I let bullies get me down and there are a significant number of them, then you know, this is just game over because they come with hammers and chains and swords and every snotty, snarky weapon they could pull. And it's just unbelievable that people even have the time for that stuff. And what's really interesting actually is that usually they're reacting to something in the moment too. It's just momentary. They're taking out a frustration from some other part of their life and putting it on another one and the two don't even gel together. So there's something deeply wrong with that in the first place but there's also something just deeply misaligned right so when you encounter bullies a huge part of what's happening is just that they're not even in the same level of reality as you are they're thinking about one thing at a deep processing level of their mind and they're reacting to another with another level of their mind which is not so deep processing perhaps and that's disconcerting if you ever do that to other people get it sorted out because it's not a good place to be and you don't want to be in it for long you want to be healthy and happy and even when things frustrate you and you find them annoying go and leave a five-star review on them anyway and then embed your criticism inside of the five stars find a way to be happy find some other thing to do other than just pounding and hurting other people. It's only gonna hurt yourself. So when it comes to the memory perspective, one of the things that you can do is have a memory palace that has no purpose other than to be your happy place. So when, and you know, memorize some stuff in it, of course, but when something bad happens, you have a go-to place where you can just, bam, okay, well, <laughs> 
that that was a pretty crappy thing that just happened but here I am in a better place and that place could have a poem that you memorized that you really love it could have uh, some song lyrics it could have some foreign language vocabulary that you really enjoy it could have all kinds of things, mathematical formulas, whatever it is that you need to memorize, have a place that you go. It could have a deck of cards that you've been working on for a magic trick or any number of things. Have a dedicated place. The other thing, and you know, I know a lot of high school students, they email me and young university students, have a memory club. Create and attend and be the leader of a memory club. So, you know, you'll be too busy running your memory club to even be bothered by the bullies who have time on their hands and psychological issues to strike out at cool people in the world. You'll, you'll, you're, you'll be doing, you'll be too busy for that stuff. And you'll be doing the world a favor and yourself a favor because you'll be keeping yourself on the path of memory and enjoying life at such a higher level because of being on the path to a better memory and improving your memory and knowing how to memorize things faster and helping others memorize faster. You'll be a contributor instead of just a consumer because this is one of the reasons why people wind up being bullies is that they're so busy consuming all the time, they're overwhelmed and then that makes them tired and they snap out at other people. And you know, it's just not cool. And so one of the best ways to not ever get in that trap is to have a healthy balance between the amount that you consume and the amount that you create. And you don't have to have a YouTube channel, you don't have to have a blog, you don't have to have a podcast, you can create for others just inside your community. Creating a club, creating a schedule is just as creative as having a blog and having a website and having a podcast and having a YouTube channel. It's just another kind of creation, but it's an act of creation nonetheless, and it will help you balance your consumption. So if you read one memory improvement book a month and you hold one memory session a month with your fellow students at your school or whoever shows up, however you put it out there for people to find it, then you're balancing it out and you'll be a much more balanced person. You'll, you'll find this. It's the same thing with learning a musical instrument. The sooner you can turn your lessons into teaching, then the sooner you will gain a higher level of mastery with that instrument. So that's a second way that you can use a memory palace to defeat bullying. And the third way would be to not only have some sort of memory club where you create memory palaces with other people and share the ways that you know they're useful and so forth but to actually be constantly using memory palaces so that you know you're just again you're too busy to even notice the bullies some bully comes out and does some snarky thing to you and you're just whatever you know I'm, I'm rehearsing Chinese vocabulary or Chinese phrases or French or German or Spanish or math or whatever it is that you're doing in your mind just boom goes away from you and this is a very very powerful thing to do is to be using memory palaces a lot you won't even notice a lot of the trouble that people are creating for themselves and for others around in the world you'll be impervious to it you'll be bulletproof you might even say you'll be magnetic if you're watching this channel I hope that these thoughts have helped you I hope you never fall prey to bullying part of falling prey to bullying in many circumstances is by choice because you can remove yourself from the situation you can react to the situation differently you can just report it you can just simply not engage in it or you can just put your foot down and say look buddy I got a memory club and I happen to use the magnetic memory method as part of it so it's at 4:30 uh, p.m. you're invited if not please get out of my way, I got things to learn and memorize. So, <laughs> you know, just find another way and, and, and just don't fall prey to it. Who cares what anybody else thinks or says or does? Care about what you do and you think and what you say because the quality of what you do and you think and you say affects the quality of what you can make. And the more you can make cool things for the world, the more cool things are gonna happen to you. And using a memory palace and helping others use memory palaces is a great way to make that happen for you. So. Hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Anthony Metivier, in case you didn't know. Come visit me at magneticmemorymethod.com and I would love to give you my free course if you don't already have it on how to make a memory palace, how to get some use out of it. And if you do ever start a memory club, let me know. You never know, I might come by. Thanks for watching. Until we speak again, keep yourself magnetic.